Hey everybody, it's Lisa from LJ Creations, and today we're going to do, as I promised last week, a foiling technique. Um, I'm not going to do a full project, but I'm just going to show you a foiling technique that I have practiced, and um, it actually works pretty good. So, um, it's using my laminator again, and I've had a few questions on this, and I'm going to address those questions really quick, and then I'll show you the technique. Um, this laminator... I think you could use pretty much any laminator as long as it gets pretty hot. I don't know for sure. Um, like someone said, well, I have an older laminator. I'm pretty sure it would work. I would try it um, before I'd go buy a new laminator or a mink. Um, one thing I have learned about using the laminator is you want it to get hot. So maybe let it run for a few minutes. Just let it heat up and stuff like that before you start putting the... Um, stuff through it and then also the other thing that someone asked me is about transfer sheets I forgot to mention that I had transfer sheet that actually were minks um, I got that Hobby Lobby you could get that use a coupon or whatever um, or at Michaels or whatever they're easy but I've also seen where people just use paper and I actually don't know where my smaller mink transfer is so I have been playing around with um, just paper and I actually did this one I don't know if you can see it that well um, because it's a little outline and I learned it, it's on there but um, I was gonna color it in and do like will you go to prom with me or something for someone or something like that or will you be my bridesmaid that would be really cute with this but um I just used the mink on this, and I just used a trans, not the mink, I'm sorry. I used the laminator and the technique I'm going to show you, and just a piece of paper folded over to transfer it. So you do not have to buy that. Um, you can just get copy paper, a piece of copy paper, fold it over, and it sandwiches in it. So, um, and that works just as well. But if you do like getting the other thing, go for it. Have fun with it. So... We are going to do um, luck. I'm not going to do a project with this yet that I know of, but I'm going to show you the technique. It's a technique video more than a project video. So I'm just going to use my Versamark, and this Versamark is old. I've had it forever, and that's the one thing I love about Versamark. It seems to last a long time. I probably should get a new one, but... So we're just going to adhere that on there, and then we're going to take white embossing powder, and this is just Recollections embossing powder, got at Michael's, um, nothing fancy, and just get that all up on your, your verse mark. I have a little bit on the thing, I just kind of... bit more on there because I have a little bit that I didn't get on there. Sorry, that might be a little long. Move our coffee filter and our paper and then take our heat gun. Now I'm just going to heat this up. Okay, you are all heated up. Your embossed power is all heated and embossed. And then I'm just going to take some gold foil. And this is just mink. Um, I was playing around with my um, laminar and some foil later on after I did the last video. And I found that some stuff I had laying around that was foil worked just as well. But it seemed like I had to have the laminar really, really hot for that to work. So, um, just so you know. And then, so we have, actually I don't want to put it in this one because it's a little thick. Um, we put our mink foil on there. We're just going to sandwich this in. This is just copy paper. It's nothing fancy. It's just something I get out of the printer. So we'll move our laminator over. Feed that through. So while that's going, I have to just tell you a little something. So when I was trying this, I tried this with the other um, stamp and this is really cool how this I don't like the lines obviously but um, I really like what happened is I embossed this 
And then my, I didn't put transfer down. I tried just doing the mink on top of it and the mink didn't go through. <laughs> so then it made duplicate images. It was kind of funny how that worked. I'm like, how does that work? Um, but it did, it made duplicate images from here. So anyone understands that, let me know. Um, I just thought it was cool because I only stamped it once and embossed it once. And then it did like two and a half. But I thought it was cool. And then I ran the laminar or the um, foil through it. And that's how I got the lines. I was like, well, I obviously have to use a transfer. But I just had to show that to you. I thought that was pretty cute. So that's gone through. And now we will see the big reveal. So we'll take that off. Move so you guys can see this. And there you go. You have a foiled image. Now I did this because I don't have a lot of large like um, big fonts um, stamps so that's why I did this and I did it in gold. Now I would just cut around this which I could do with my scissors here. Just cut around this so the emboss and the foil that's around it you don't see. The nice thing about paper crafting is you can cut away the icky most of the time. And you have this cute little embellishment that says luck and it's gold. So I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys that cute little technique. Thought you guys would get a kick out of it. I'm going to play around a little bit more with the foiling and probably do a little bit more before I do another video for you guys on it. But I just thought this was really cool and it's really simple. Um, so I hope you all have a great day and happy crafting. See you guys later. Bye.